So you are now hired on all school and you need to create your first course. Or maybe you're an independent teacher and you need to have lessons to teach on Zoom. Whichever situation you're in, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create your own course using Canva. And make sure you stay till the end of the video so that you can get your free course creation template. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we're now on my computer on canva.com. If you guys don't know about Canva, it's a great resource. And on Canva is where I create my courses for all school. So here I am on the website here, and I'm gonna go to create a design. And for all school, I try to create a presentation, and this is the size of 1920 by 1080. So I click on that, and let's get right into it so here you can either get some templates which they have some really good ones here you guys that allow you to just right away create something so for example i can write a kid lesson and some things will show up here that you can kind of see if it's what you like as far as design and just use it in your course creation process they also have really good pictures so let's say you're going to create a class that's called yoga for kids there is a perfect example here that you guys can use you can see you see this picture let me just put it here so i can show you guys so you have this you know some stretches and namaste is very basic for you know this type of content but it's good to know that Canva does have template as well if you're not really good at creating content. So let's create our own. I usually do a mix of my own content and also using the templates that are here. If you guys have been teaching before, you kind of know what it's like to teach online and how the structures of the lessons are set up. So you need a good introduction or cover page first. So if I were to create a course, I would do something like this where it's really easy to see maybe i wouldn't put all of that but again you can definitely play around and see what you like so this is a great cover for your class you can just title it what you want so let's say i'm going to create a course that is titled um animals in asia right so let's say i'm going to do that so if i'm going to do this then i'm just going to title animals Asia that will be my course I can also write welcome to if I want to or I can leave it like that not even write my teacher's name if I want or you can just write teacher Christina there you go so you can leave it like that change the colors a bit if you want this is kind of really nice in general but if let's say you wanted to change it you can definitely change the color um, and then let's go on to the next slide. Personally, for me, so then you have your title slide. Personally, for me, the second slide, I like to have a song. Depending on the age of the child, I always feel like a song is a great icebreaker when you first get into the class with students. So one thing that I like to do is create something. I think this is a good idea right here. We can maybe do... song uh we're gonna write a animal song right here and then you would write the song like hello animals blah 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 <laughs> so you can kind of write that and this is a great little design that's really beautiful this is what i like about canva again like you have the templates available so you can kind of play around with them and next after the, after the song, the next thing I like to do is to start with the first lesson of the class or at least introduce the lesson to the students. So you can say, for example, um, let's say you want to do something like this on these templates. You can just write like, today's mm, lesson. And then you will write what you're gonna cover in today's topics. You can do that. And then next, we're gonna get into the topic that we're gonna learn today. So personally, what I like to do here, I would remove this and have the option 
of having the word somewhere. This is just my personal preference. Again, you can do that yourself, but I like to write the word and then maybe a sentence. So if I had, let's take this template again, and I want to put it here and I write keyword, whatever the keyword is going to be for the day. So let's say it's going to be um, panda. I'm going to put panda here, which is the word. And I'm going to go in Canva elements and look for panda. Boom. Here you go. I have a panda picture. So here, we have, maybe make it very big. So we have here, panda. It depends on the level, obviously. If the child is really young, you can just put panda and be done with it. Or you can, what I like to do as well, I'll take this title and put it here and write a sentence like, uh, this is a panda. This allows the child to have not only the word, but also a sentence. So that works very well together. So then we have at this point, the next slide for me is going to be either a sentence or an activity. So I like to do something where we are using something like this. Let's say I said, I would say, find the panda that's a game and then you will put something here like a panda picture here and i put lion um, and i put cat or maybe um, elephant. Oops, can't write. Elephant head here and maybe a bird head. Bit mean. Okay, so then this would be an activity for the child to do, which is pick which one is a panda. So that is a great design or a great activity. This is again for a lower level. This is a great idea. So if I notice that the child is a higher level, I'm just going to create something where they have to read instead so they can be more stimulated to not be a bit bored so i'm going to just copy this design right here which is really nice because kids really love fun backgrounds so you can play around in canva which i really like so let's say i wanted to use the same panda here and maybe a panda is talking to a polar bear oops Polar bear and let's see right here I can create a conversation box and do something like this where they are talking to each other and having this dialogue that allows the child to communicate and express themselves. So now we have a conversation box where you guys can include, hello, my name is, you know, uh, 
you know, something like that. I am a panda cat saying. I live in, I don't know, Japan, something like that. And then same thing, I am a polar bear, I live, something like that where you create conversation to allow the kid to talk. And then I also, like when I introduce a topic to a child, always put a game to keep them engaged. It's so important, especially if you're doing group classes or even one-on-one. -on -one. So at this point, what I would do is just create the same for about three more topics or two more topics. Because I think you can just replicate, let's see, I'm gonna do, this i'm just gonna create another let me just explain so i'm gonna create the same thing so i don't have panda let's say the next animal is a polar bear so i'm gonna do the same sorry about the noise i'm gonna do the same here where i'm gonna do let's say uh, a tiger sorry tiger so i'm gonna go and get a picture of a tiger Boom, that's the next topic. And I will do another conversation box, but you will see this and then same idea, another game. Obviously I wouldn't do the same one. So maybe for this game, I'm gonna do something like fill in the blanks. So I can write find the missing letter and then I could put a letter like would put T T E R and then they have to guess the missing letter for example if I do it like this I can also put bear etc etc or p a n a so they have to guess what's the missing letter for tiger and panda it's another game and then like i said again same idea i'm going to do the same for another letter you guys can obviously play around with the colors and the games so I'm gonna do a bear here, bear right here, and then same idea, a bear here with the question, and then a new game, which is, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, you guys can find a game to, so a game in general. Now, at this point, we have 12 slides. On all school, you need about 20 slides for them to be uploaded. I realize when you put more, it's just the file is just too big. So 20 slides is about enough. What I like to do is I like to do another slide at the end for the song, like when you're ending the slide. So I do a song. So it's like the goodbye song again. And then the intro, I just use it as this last slide as well. So it will be like a goodbye slide. You can say goodbye, something like that. Um, so at this point, we, we have 14 slides. So at this point, I do conversational slides. You know, again, you are the teacher. You're going to be able to improvise with the slides and find what you think is a good idea for the child, what you think is best for them to play with and so on. So what I like to do is let the slide kind of give me a PowerPoint idea and then I teach the rest. So you can do something like this, a game, fun slides. Gaffney find something like this, you see? Oh, we're going on a train. So this I can definitely do one, two, well, there's number one. <laughs> One, two, three, um, I would do two conversational slides, depending on how many students you have. If you're doing one student, I would say two is enough. If you're doing four students, then definitely four is enough. 
for you to have um, conversations with the child while you're in it. Everybody can play. And something like this is good. Like, oh, we're going on a choo-choo train around Asia. Let's go meet the animals. And then there's a conversation there. There's an animal. And you can kind of talk to them with that. So that is a great idea to kind of emphasize that. You want to create more games in there that keeps them engaged. I would say create one more. And then the last thing I would do before the song slide is a review slide. So as a review slide, um, you would just do the almost the same as the lesson. So I'm gonna go just bring that back down to here and we're going to delete this one so this is going to be a review slide there you go and you can kind of put the pictures of the panda and the animals on it again um, and that way you can just play around so let's review all of it together here if i press present you guys will see, oops, let's start with number one. So it will say, welcome to animals in Asia slide. It also can play with teacher Christina. You go to the next one. This will be the animal song. So we're gonna sing at this point in the slide and talk with the kids after you did the introduction. And then now we're going to do today's lesson. So today we're learning and this is what you can do also interact with the child have them circle the stuff what do you see next we have the first topic the first word which is boom panda what is that play with the child have them read sentences if you want as well or answer question and complete sentences you can play and you be the panda they are the, the bear and you guys play around next you can do a little game again. Yeah, find the panda, where is it? Circle, kind of like that. Then the next word, tiger. Same idea, sentences. Then a game. Then the next word, bear. Activity or game. And then so at this point, you can do one more game that's more inclusive of all the three words that they learned today. And then you do the conversation with them. Oh, we're going on a choo-choo train. Let's, you know, find out about the animals and then have a conversation with each child. Or if it's one child, you can break it up and talk to them. After that, we have our review slide, which we're gonna ask them, what did we learn today? Make sure they can pronounce it well. They can answer you in complete sentences work on your phonics with them. And then here you have the goodbye song, which is the same song as the beginning. And the last slide that says goodbye. Now, as promised, I have a free course creation template that you guys can download in the description box below. And this allows you to just drag and drop your own pictures, change the title, change the colors, create your own little games in there, and you are able to create your own course in less than 10 minutes. And if you're new to teaching and you want to teach on a marketplace like all school, or maybe if you want to go independent, I have some resources in the description box as well. So make sure you check them out. Have a great day, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.